parts of America and <laughs> beyond. Yeah. yeah, it has to be beyond because I'm not there right I now. I know, so you're not. It's sort of worldwide. We have, now it's a worldwide organization. It's fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, the universe is a kind and loving place. I love it. Exactly. I, I just want to tell you guys, if uh, because we're, we're talking about a book right now, and I just want to remind you what that book is. Just a little quick sales speech here, though. <laughs> <laughs> I had a book out last year, or this year, yes. actually. It was in June, and the book was called is called Your Voice is Your Calling Card. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's the same name of this show. It's the same name of, of my uh, coaching course and lots of stuff that I do right now. And you can, of course, get that book on Amazon. It's a really good book if you want to uh, find your own authentic voice, get rid of uh, nervousness or stage fright, if you want to train your real voice as well, your physical voice, and just want to combine all those things to become a, a more powerful and more comfortable and confident communicator, then uh, look into it. I'll uh, give you a link at the end of the show and uh, let you know where you can get it if you're interested. Mm -hmm. So... That out of the way, I, I love it. Very interested to hear about the minds. I and I love this. I first I thought, what is that? That's a weird mistake. And then I thought, so <laughs> cool. Are you stupid or what? I then felt like I sort of mm -hmm. identity. I think yeah. it's so clever. What is that? That's your news project. I can see, but what is it? Yes. Well, mind's identity actually. Uh, was born from my own experience. Uh, first of all, I, forever, I've always said mind's eye, from the mind's eye, and, and I use that term a lot. So I had that up on my vision board for a long, 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 long time, and then I woke up one morning and realized that's my next book, Identity. And the reason it became so clear to me was because I, it, those first... Ten years of midlife were very difficult for me. I went through challenges that, that truly did test my optimism to the very core. And so part of that was my father's passing, but then several other things happened uh, along the way. And it, uh, I hit a dead end, or at least that was what my version was at the time. And I suffered a mild depression, and I was staring down those questions, who am I? And so... I, and I've often said before that I liken that to a period of unraveling in my life. I was watching my house, uh, to use a metaphor for my life, just it just felt like it was crumbling before me. So I came out of that space and with an immersion of my own spiritual awakening and my awareness of spiritual energy and I... I really just started a path of understanding that no nobody is perfect and that is exactly where where I needed to begin to move on and that moving on was a part of the essence of identity uh it's a concept that developed for me over so many years of establishing my new habits my new focus and whenever I felt negative emotions uh, literally welling up inside of me, I realized that I truly could summon a new awareness, that a new awareness within myself and, uh, and harness that optimism, harness my awareness. And I realized a new harmony, a new self-confidence, a new self-acceptance and, and peace beyond compare. I live... A, an incredibly peaceful life because of the choice to have uh, to to have this new identity, and so this is what inspired the work and the book and everything that I'm going to be doing with this program. And it's it's a way to uh, feel at peace with my choices. And again, I go back to how we second guess everything with that third shift of the day. Mm. But feeling at peace with my choices simply because they are, I don't know how else to say this, they're evidence of me to observe, you know, as evidence to observe rather than they are necessarily a part of me. So it's, uh, it's, it's really deep. <laughs> 
But yeah, it's, it sounds um, like it. it, it it's, it's a profound, fantastic It's profound, but it it's life changing. And so identity is is actually uh, the peak identity model that I created in the book uh, is what I use to help others um, to to kind of go through this process of identity that I went through. And so it will help them to kind of transcend all the other roles and identity, you know, issues that we've had in our lives where, uh, you know, how we said that our, nothing's static, you know, identity is changing all the time, but what can we rely on? We can rely on this new sense of identity. So that's something that, that we can harness in and, uh, I, I know that sounds so vague, but it's so, you know, it's something that you really no, need to immerse amazing. yourself in. So, and it was inspired by my own journey. Fantastic. And, you know, and, go, oh, yes. No, it's just we have to break take time. a little break. <laughs> And, uh, and, and I just, it's so exciting. I think it's so interesting to listen to, but we just have to take a break and then we can sort of, because I want to hear about the book as well. And obviously okay. I'd love to, to help you with the book and, uh, and, and uh, do your campaign with you, but we can talk about that in a sec. Um, hello to Tono A. Bond, who is in the room with us. And this is somebody you know, I think, Lucy, apparently from Colorado. Who? I'm sorry, who is it? It's a it's a difficult name, to to know a bond. Oh, to know a bond. Oh to yes, know a bond. Yes, I do know to know. Is she in the chat room? Yes, and she's saying hi, Lucy, and she said hi to you now a million times. But because you're not a connected like you should be, I know. <laughs> you can't see it. But she's very happy to be here, and she's chatting away with Nan and with Steve. And uh, she's saying hi, and she's telling us about her book, which is very funnily has a, a title that is very similar to mine. I think it's called Audacity is your calling card. No book yet, says so she's working on it. It's coming. Maybe it's coming same time as yours. Sounds amazing. Oh, that's wonderful. And, hello, yeah. Tanoa. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy says hello, but she can see that and hear that, I'm sure. Okay, we're going to take a short break. And uh, we'll be right back with Lucy Beal in the same go going. Do you want to accelerate your professional growth and earn what you are really worth? Then you need a personal career plan working for you right now. Receive guidance and support from experts who have the skills and connections necessary to make your career goals a reality. With fast and easy to use life planning tools, the success you imagine for yourself may be closer than you think. Listen now for details from your radio show host. Let's talk about your future. Do you know what's in it for you? More of the same? Or how about the life you dream of? Career advancement financial security, a healthier lifestyle, spiritual enlightenment, effective communication, and fulfilling relationships.